Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're going to create an interactive image gallery using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Before you do jump in, I would recommend downloading three pictures of your choosing. I have a picture of a pizza, a salad, and soup. If you're able to, try and find images that are roughly the same height and width. Once you have your three or more images, we are ready to begin. We'll begin with the first image. I'll use a div element. And I will give this div element a class of gallery because it's well part of our image gallery. I will include my image. Image, the source attribute will be the relative file path of the image. If you have a lot of pictures, I would recommend creating an images folder. You know what? Let's actually do that. It'd be good practice. New folder, images. I'll move all of these images to my images folder. All right, so I will list the relative file path. I need to navigate to the images folder, but of course you can use your own pictures depending on what you're building exactly. Images dot, I think that was a JPEG. All right, so this picture is massive. In case somebody is using a screen reader, it's good practice to add an alternative attribute. Then give a description of the image. Salad. I'll turn this image into a hyperlink by surrounding it with a pair of anchor tags. We can open this image in a new tab by setting the target attribute to equal underscore blank. Then I will set the href attribute to be the source of my image. I'll just copy and paste that. Just temporarily, I'm going to set a width for this image. Width equals 200. What we'll do now is add a description. It's entirely optional, but I think it would look nice. I will create a new div element with a class of description. I will type the word salads. We'll do some CSS styling a little bit later. Let's copy this entire div element, paste it twice. Then we just need to change the images we're using. My second image is soup. I'll change the alternative text as well. And the description soups. Then my last image is pizza. The description will be pizzas. All right, let's go to our style sheet. We are selecting our gallery class. I will set the display property to be an inline block. Currently, these images are block level elements. Now they're all lined up. I'll add a border, border one pixel solid. Let's go with a dark gray color. I'll use HSL values. I'll set the lightness to 60%. I'll add margin of five pixels. The margin is applied outside of these developments. If I were to increase this, you can see the difference. I'll keep that as five though. Let's work on the description for each image. We are accessing our gallery class. Then within the gallery class, we have the description class. That should be these developments. Let's add a little bit of padding, 10 pixels, then text align center. Not bad. When we hover over one of these elements, let's change the border color. We are taking our gallery. We'll apply the hover pseudo class, then change the border and make it a little bit darker. I'll set the lightness to be like 20. There we are. Now the border changes when we hover over one of these elements. I'm going to delete these with attributes. Then go to our style sheet. We'll access our gallery class with any images. Set the width to be 100%. And height will be auto. 
then with the gallery class, we can set the width 200 pixels. So basically what we did is that we set the width of each image to be 100% of the width of our gallery, whatever this is set to. If I were to set the width to be something larger, then the size of each element would increase. But I think 200 is fine. All right, now let's test it. If we click on one of these images, we should see the full image in a new tab. That's the salad image, soup, and pizza. All right, everybody, so that is a simple image gallery using HTML and CSS.